fun and I'm very, very proud to be with Dr. Arish, who has achieved an awesome rank of 590 in the recent INICT examination. Welcome, Dr. Arish. Welcome. Thank you. Heartiest congratulations from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, Arish, with uh, with uh, us in the Chennai batch, regular batch, face to face, he has attended the classes. Arish, can you elaborate your journey with us? Yes, ma'am. Um, during my internship, uh, I didn't prepare for the exams, ma'am. After my internship, I joined a body of face to face classes in Chennai, ma'am. And uh, during the after the classes, I have given the post class test of the of, of the same subjects. Mm -hmm. And then I, I completed my first aid by doing those classes and uh, doing the post class test. I completed the first aid by October twenty. Mm -hmm. October twenty. Um, my target initially was my target was a uh, need to twenty twenty four and then May I and I only. So. I wanted to give a, a decent attempt in this initial number instead. So, but I have only left only 15 days uh, for my preparation after I completed the classes. So I thought I can't re revise those all the 19 uh, subjects in those 15 days. So I only did the uh, uh, only high yield topics and PYQs of the you know, all the 19 subjects in those 15 days. And uh, I want to give a decent attempt uh, in the in, in number. So I give them. So, Arish, uh, did you prepare during your internship or did you prepare after finishing of your internship? No, no. In the internship, I didn't prepare, ma'am. I only gave the neat exam with uh, MBBS uh, knowledge only. Mm -hmm. I, get, I get a rank of uh, 31,000 in my NEET 2023. And this was my first initial exam in the November. All right. So that means these notes were your sole uh, source of preparation, uh, which you started after your internship. And uh, you can see uh, and the amazing jump from 31,000 to 590, right? So how much how much uh, success uh, you can attribute to your these classes and these notes which has helped you in jumping from 31k to this 590 Yes ma'am I am I'm weaker in uh, one of the many subjects like uh, anatomy microbiology biochemistry I'm uh, so much uh, weak in the subjects ma'am mm -hmm. uh, Everyone knows that anatomy, Ashwini Kumar sir is a king of anatomy. He helped me as well a lot. Uh, he he's, uh, changed one of my horrifying subjects into a lovable, lovable one. Uh, special thanks to Dr. Ashwini Kumar sir. And um, for microbiology, Dr. Nasir sir uh, is a... Uh, microbiology is one of my weakest subjects. He made it so simpler with his amazing blueprints. And and he he's the only teacher who can concise the uh, microbiology notes into less than 120 pages, I think. So it was so concise so that I can uh, revise in the last minute these notes it was so helpful. And uh, for medicine, Tomim sir, uh, he's so fascinated. I was so fascinated by his classes. Uh, I had my, I had got the answers to many whys and hows uh, from, from his medicine classes. So thanks to Saif Tamim sir also. And uh, almost uh, all the 19 subjects, I have the best teachers in the bot here. Uh, like uh, compared to many institutes, Bodhya is one of the uh, best teachers in all, almost all the 19 subjects now. Right. So, uh, how much importance would you give in understanding the subject? Uh, what was the main thing that you liked about the classes? Um, uh, the post-class tests were so helpful. And after the class, I completed the, the, the subject itself. Now. The class was so, so concise. We can uh, read it for uh, like uh, important topics, mm -hmm. and after after the classes are get over, I, I complete the subjects uh, that time itself. Now mm -hmm. I give the post test, and by that uh, every subject completed, I given the post test accordingly. Mm -hmm. I am by all the subjects completed, I have given the first grade of all the subjects. Now. Okay, so you mean to say that they were so concise that you were able to revise them. How many yes. times did you revised? 
Yes, yeah, so my only did my first trade by October twenty, man. And then uh, revised uh, only high yield. I can't revise all the nineteen subjects, all the topics uh, in that short time, man. I only revised the uh, high yield and uh, previous year topics only in those uh, about twelve days. And mm. then again, the last four days, I revised the the only again the revised the uh, only important topics in the last four days, man. Mm-hmm. So that I my this attempt was I only I want to give a, like a baseline GT I think and uh, November in November I ne I want to give, I want to did be my baseline GT so mm-hmm. I prepared and uh, to give a decent attempt uh, this was uh, unexpected this rank uh, this for me so this I is accepted, bonus bonus rank for you Arish <laughs> yes ma'am I expected uh, like uh, I can get above five to five five K rank now but uh, this was uh, unexpected. Right. So, Arish, uh, uh, what would you advise to the future aspirants and your colleagues, your juniors? Like nowadays, they are more going into the FOMO. So, uh, what would you say that sticking to one source is uh, how much fruitful for you? Yes, ma'am. Many sources are not useful. Ma'am. Sticking to one source and uh, in those one source, uh, you have to more concentrate on the previous year topics only, ma'am. Previous topic, I think almost uh, around one uh, twenty plus questions are from only previous uh, topics only, ma'am. And then those uh, about twenty questions are direct repeat. So one can do only previous uh, topics and go and can get a uh, easily one twenty plus questions. And uh, uh, and the more forty plus questions, we can uh, guess it by ruling out the options itself, ma'am. So mm-hmm. more importance to the previous uh, topics. That's uh, that's what I advise to the uh, aspirants, ma'am. So. The PYQs that you are talking about, that they were most of the questions from PYQs and PYTs, were they solely and totally covered in your classes? No, ma'am. Classes, are, all the important topics are covered, ma'am. But in the last, during my preparation, I didn't uh, have time to complete all those uh, notes, ma'am. In those 15 days, I want to give a decent time, so I only waste only PYQ topics only now. Also, I didn't uh, give any modules of uh, other uh, general modules. I only give the PYQ modules only for the questions now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, what will you advise to the students who are going to appear in the examination? What should they do in the last 10 days before their examination, apart from doing the PYQs that you told us that we should do PYQs? Or any uh, other thing? Did you prepare your 20th notebook? No, no, no. Actually, I didn't prepare, ma'am. Only after the classes, uh, I started reading. I am planned of. I planned for need twenty twenty four, ma'am. So after any, I, I my preparation was. I planned to start my uh, proper preparation after the uh, after November initial. This examination, so, <laughs> you got so, a very good rank even in this, right? Yes, ma'am. After that, only I had the idea of taking the twenty notebook itself. Uh, so I didn't have time for taking that notes. I only marked the PVQ topics, PVQ topics in those uh, in in our body notes itself. That was, I marked and only raised those only PVQ topics only. Uh, not questions, ma'am. Uh, PVQ to- topics. Okay. I read those topics. Mostly I mean uh, repeating the only repeating the topics, ma'am. Yeah. Mm. Only the questions are somewhat different, uh, but topics are uh, again again asking the same only. Okay. And how much was the level of interaction in the classes? Like, uh, you know, uh, we always uh, prefer the face-to-face classes. So what difference yes. felt that uh, how they are better than the online platforms? Yes, ma'am. We have uh, the, so many students are surrounded us. Surrounded by presentation. There is no distraction in the face-to-face classes. We yeah. have to sit anyhow the those uh, ten to twelve hours. Hmm. Uh, so everyone is sitting. So we can also can uh, listen to the classes for ten to twelve hours for a stitch. So there is a peer support also there, and uh, interaction is uh, any doubts you can ask uh, is uh, cleared by then itself. Uh, so comparing uh, online classes, uh, is, uh, I will recommend only case to case classes for everyone who are aspiring. Right. So, any uh, last piece of advice or message that you would like to give to the future aspirants? 
Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, don't uh, uh, go for uh, many sources and uh, notes and for everything. It's not, everything is available in online. You can get any any sources, but don't uh, go for uh, all the sources. Stick to one source and uh, give more concentrate to the uh, concentration to the previous uh, topics and uh, it uh, so so that you can uh, read uh, all the thing. You read all the topics and the notes from a single source, but uh, in those notes also, you uh, we want to give the more concentration to the previous uh, topics, so that you can you not diluted that uh, important topics into the all the notes. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's a main. All right. So wonderful journey and the wonderful uh, messages from Arish. Uh, thank you, and uh, we are really proud of you. And uh, we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors also. Thank you. Thank you.